thank you very much for taking part in the Global Sports Job 60 Second Interview Series. Please explain who you are and what you do. So my name is Ross Tucker. I'm a PhD in Exercise Physiology and I work jointly with the University of Cape Town and the Sports Science Institute of South Africa down in Cape Town. Uh, and what, do you, what is your, your current role? Well, I'm split between two different areas. The one is a pure academic job where I supervise a couple of PhD students, conduct my own research, and then I also uh, lecture in the department. And then the other thing that I do is I'm more on the applied side of sports science, and so I work as a consultant to a few teams. South African kayaking is one of them, uh, SA7's rugby is another one. And my sort of overriding focus is how we can apply sports science. I'd say it's strategic management of sports science. And how did you get to being what you currently do? What was your career path? Well, I started off studying sports science because of a passion for sport and, and ability in science. Uh, and then when I was finishing up my PhD, I had, I guess you could call it a quarter-life crisis, where I recognized that there had to be more than just science. And so I went away and I did a marketing and a management degree at the same time as I finished my PhD up, because I wanted to add another string to the bow so to speak, and be able to apply what I knew because, you know, science without application for me is, is rather meaningless. So I went and did this and I worked for a couple of years in commerce, working on sports business and marketing and media and so forth, and I'm now back at the science, basically coming at it from the other direction of saying, how can we take the scientific knowledge and the process and apply it to sports performance? How, how valuable has your experience in the commercial side been to understanding how to develop the scientific side? The most important thing about being involved in commerce is that you learn to understand incentives. And you understand why people make the decisions they do and why they behave in the way they do and why they spend money the way they do, because that's ultimately what it boils down to. And so having worked in commerce, I think I got a better understanding of, of the, the behavior and the economics of decision making. And now, coming at it from a scientific point of view, I can at least try to understand why people either undervalue science or how to make them recognize the value of sports science and then be able to apply it in that way. What advice would you give to somebody looking to develop their career in sports science? I think the most important thing in sports science now is that you have to be entrepreneurial. I think the, the problem for sports in general and especially for sports science is that the, the, the barriers to entry are quite low. Anyone can get into sport. That's part of the appeal. But it creates a problem for people because nowadays, even if you have a PhD, you're competing in a marketplace against literally thousands of other people who are either, either similarly qualified or less qualified but equally capable. And so I think the big question you have to ask yourself is why you? And in order to answer that, you have to understand what competitive advantage you bring to an environment where you want to work that would make you employable over someone else. And that means you have to think creatively and be something of an entrepreneur. Most, what, what's what do you think the future of sports science is? Where, where, where do you think this market will be in, say, five years' time? Well, I mean, five years, things seem to turn so slowly that in five years, I suspect we'll be in very much the same place we are now. I think there's a growing realisation of the value of the sports science support services around the world. I think that means that more and more people will become involved with teams. I think that sports science will be recognised as a tool and the big focus in the future will be developing a strategy to be able to use the tool. Uh, and I think sports science, if it's going to move forward, needs to embrace the fact that it's not about knowing things and about having content, it's about understanding your, your process and the scientific process. And I think that's the most important thing that will help it move forward. And science, for me, has previously, I think, looked at itself a little bit too narrowly uh, in terms of the, sport, the role of the sports scientist. And as soon as we can step back, look at the bigger picture and see where the sports science helps from a strategic point of view, then the value will increase and I hope that's where we are in five years time. Ross, thank you very much and all the best. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cool.